Man has died after Metro Police say he tried to steal a car and then got into a confrontation with the owners. It all happened last night in the 10,000 block of Grafton Hall Road. Police say the alleged thief was unconscious when they got to the scene. WHS 11 Shay McAllister is joining us live right now from Metro Police Headquarters downtown. She has more on the investigation, what she's been putting together today. Shay? Duggar Renee, certainly a strange twist to the story. Police tell us the man is dead after getting into a physical altercation with the owners of a vehicle that he was allegedly trying to steal. It, it just seemed like to me, you know, like boys walking up and down the street late at night, screaming and joking, uh, you know, like they play fight and there wasn't no play. The sounds coming from this home on Grafton Hall Road. Lori Blevins watched from her door, which is only feet away. And I, all I heard was they were a scuffle, and I heard um, a young man screaming, get off of me, that hurts, that hurts. And he was screaming, oh, somebody help me, call 911. Police say three men got into a physical confrontation, an alleged thief and two others who tell police they were trying to protect their property. They say they watched the man try to steal their car. I shut the door and I heard pop, and I thought, that sounds like a gun. Once inside, Blevins dialed 911. Officers say the alleged thief was unconscious when they got on scene. Neighbors tell us they watched him in this ditch as police tried to save his life. You could see him, uh, you know, CPR, you could see the officers' uh, hands going up and down and everything. And everything. He was taken to UofL Hospital but died soon after. And every time I close my eyes, I can hear the person uh, screaming, help me, help me, and I wanted to help him so bad. At this time, no one has been charged with a crime. Police tell us once their investigation is complete, they will hand those findings over to the Commonwealth Attorney's Office, who will decide if this homicide was justified. Live from LMPD headquarters, Shay McAllister, WHAS 11 News.